Okay, we want to graph the following unisomes and determine the points at which the inner loop begins and ends. So if I have a problem like r equals 1 plus 2 sine theta, that is called a unisome and it has an inner loop because this right here is actually the graph of what it looks like. And the idea is that to get this graph, we have to plug in values for theta. And so it's asking basically what values we need to plug in for theta so that just this inside loop will get graphed. Well, the way that this works is these are all uh, points in our polar plane, r comma theta, where theta are angles, theta is angles, and r is a radius that comes out from zero, zero. And so what we do is we need to think about basically where r will be zero because we want basically to come up with this point right here twice. We want it to come up once whenever it starts the inner loop. We want it to come up again when it ends the inner loop. So all I need to do is set this equation equal to zero. I'm going to say r is zero. Let me figure out what that means theta should be. And once we know what r is, that it needs to be zero, this is actually a simple trig equation to solve. Uh, so I would subtract one from both sides and get negative one equals two sine theta, and then divide by two on both sides and get negative one half equals sine theta. Now to solve at this point, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to find the angles that give me a sine of negative one half. And one way to do that is to pull up your handy dandy unit circle and look for where your y values are negative one half. So my y values would be negative one half down here at seven pi over six and at 11 pi over six. which means theta equals 7 pi over 6 and 11 pi over 6. And so all we're going to do is we're going to write these as points now, r comma theta. So that's the theta part of our points. And so our r part, the r part of our points um, is what we actually initially set r to be. We said r had to be zero, and so that means both of these points will have zeros for r. And so this would be our answers. So if we're trying to solve for when our inner loops will happen, then we just set equal to zero and solve.